It was by far the biggest snowstorm of the winter. In New Jersey and Pennsylvania, the snow hit hard and fast, and local officials urged people to stay home and be ready for anything. We're prepared. We've got yeah. plenty of food, and yeah. we'll just hunker in. In Boston, the storm was being compared to a historic blizzard 44 years ago that left the city buried in 60 centimeters of snow. This storm seemingly packed close to the same punch. It wasn't quite as bad in New York, but the city didn't escape unscathed. The snow left everyone and their dogs shivering. What is your name, little guy? This is Basil. Basil, you're shaking. Are you cold? Very, oh, very. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> he looks cold. Yeah. For the tourists in Times Square who braved the minus 10 degrees Celsius conditions, it was something to behold. I've never seen New York with the snow, so it's really, wow, like American yeah. dream, winter, wow. <laughs> I think it's awful, but it's nice. <laughs> While the snow is beautiful and it can be fun to play in, it also can cause problems and be quite dangerous. This storm is being called a bomb cyclone, and it's affecting the entire northeast of the United States, where 70 million people live. At the coastal peninsula of Cape Cod near Boston, Twitter users posted this video showing how strong the wind and snow were blowing, close to upwards of 112 kilometers per hour. Storm surge was a concern in low-lying areas all along the eastern seaboard. Once all the snow melts, it turns to water, and officials warned of localized flooding. Throughout the Northeast, there were at times blizzard conditions wreaking havoc on travel. At airports, thousands of flights were canceled and commuter train lines were halted. The storm is expected to taper off, meaning Sunday will likely be the day of cleaning up, warming up, and digging out. Gabriel Zondo, Al Jazeera, New York.